This is the beginning of the video and I'm headed to work. As you can see, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right. All right, we're at Target in Hybla Valley and as you can see, the Marvel Legends is pretty stacked. I got US Agent, Thor, Blue Marvel. Oh, there's a Quake back there. Iron Man, Speedball. And there's the Ned and Peter 2-pack. Spidey and Spinneret. The Review, oh, Renew Your Vows 2-pack. There's a Mojo. And there's the Ironheart. There's a few of them right there. And let's see what else they got. Movie Wave. Overpriced Show. Captain Cold, let's just put him back. There's Batman and Superman. Flash for bots. This one's new, I think. It's four pack. And they mostly mold for Rangers. Just getting home from Target, and as you can see here, this is the only thing I picked up Marvel Legends Thor. And this version of Thor is from the Tony Kate series. There's a side with the artwork, there's the rest of the wave. And you can pause it if you want to. And the other side is the same. And if you do have the Target app and if you sign or log on to it, you get an extra 25% off. And as you can see, I had paid $18.28 for the fix, so less than retail and can't complain about that. And let me just do a unboxing and showcase for you guys. And this time I did come prepared and have my blade and I always open from this side whenever I do get or when I used to get Marvel Legends and the, this flat comes out or unfolds and so, no. there's the effect piece and Display the what do you call it? The back of the packaging on display, but never mind. We'll just do that. But there's the effect piece. He does come with quite a few accessories. There's a crow, pretty dope that Hasbro included. Crow. Very, it's well sculpted, as you can see. There's Thor's hammer. And he does go with controller's head. And I don't think I'm gonna complete this wave. I just wanted Thor. And he does come with two extra set of hands, fisted hands. He does come with another crow. And this one, as you can see, the wings aren't out. There you go. And Sorry about that noise. Thor. And his cape is pliable. And his hair as well. His armor. Very detailed. And 
here's a closer look at the door. And my copy does have minor hidden issues right there, but it's not gonna bother me. And let's get into the articulation. Thor, get it down. Huh. Not really because of his hair. It hinders the articulation. Can't really look up. He does have full rotation on the neck and his head did pop out. It's all good. He does have diaphragm joint. No way swivel. His arms could go out that much. And good thing the shoulder pad or whatever you call this is pliable. So it doesn't hinder the articulation. Bicep swivel. And only single jointed elbows. Full twist of the wrist and side to side. He could Thor could kick out that far. Can't really kick back. He does have double jointed knees, thigh swivel, no boot cut, but he does have ankle rockers, whatever you call it, and pivot. There you go. Like what I said, I'm not the best at doing showcase or views. I leave that to the professional. Oh, there you go. And let's do a little size comparison. I do got a few figs. Let me just move the accessories out of the way. And let me just fix Thor. And I've been eyeing this fig ever since he came out. I was just waiting for either a sale or clearance, but you know what? He doesn't want to cooperate for some reason. But there you go, there's Thor and there's Mando. And as you can see, Mando is way shorter than Thor. There's Storm Shadow. And let's just scoop. Storm Shadow to the side. Here's the ultimate edition of Roman Reigns. And Thor is a little bit taller. And let's scoot Mando. And here's the one ninth scale of Jordan from Ender Bay. And there you go. There's a few size comparisons so you could you guys can see how tall Thor is, but there you go. I apologize if this video is short. I didn't really go out that much because I do got work soon. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for the love and support as always. But more importantly, love you guys. All right, peace. All right, I thought I was going to start with the unboxing and showcase, but I thought I decided to give you guys a quick updated room tour or man cave, whatever you want to call it. And just to let you guys know that I did sell majority of my figs because... You know, I'll be an adult, pay bills and all that good stuff. And I got Thor in this pose, right beside Roman. This is my Switch Lite and my only game, Super Smash Bros. Haven't really played the Switch because work and you know, all that stuff. And let's start here first. I did display my three and three quarter Joes. Here's Cobra. Probably my favorite is Serpentor. And speaking of Serpentor, can't wait for the classified series of that pick to come out. Or I'm just excited about any other new classified that's coming out. Here are Joe's. Probably my favorite besides that guys would be Beachhead. And on card of snake eyes and some shadow right here decided to put my ps1 ps2 ps3 he used to be here but here are some handheld nintendo products there's a game of color with pokemon red 
Game Boy Advance. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and uh, DS Lite, I think. These are my sister's. She doesn't use them. Just thought I displayed them. The NES and Super Nintendo still there. Same thing with the GameCube. Nintendo Wii. Here's my Dreamcast. The original Xbox. And the 360. That's my um, charger for the Nintendo Switch. Here are pops I do got in the magnetic cases. And I don't have that much pops as well. There's Biggie, Bullseye, Marty McFly, and Penny. And there's the detail. Let me just open the door. There's the 12 inch Marvel Legends of Deadpool. There's the Mando Hot Toy Box. There's Mando with a vintage collection of himself. There's the Black Series version right here. This is where I have the Inner Bay Jordan along with Benny the Bull and Jordan Pop right here. Snake Eyes. I got Snake Eyes on a bike and I believe that bike is from the Punisher set. There's a Funko exclusive of Snake Eyes and Timber and the Hasbro Pulse exclusive of, of Snake Eyes. Right here, favorite anime, Bleach. And here's a closer look at the Ichigo fig. And This is where I have my classified series. I got some of them in a dynamic pose and some of them just in a regular vanilla pose. Try to go as slow as I can for you guys. And right here is where I have Cobra. And I can't wait to add the twins, but I have no idea where I'm gonna put them. I'll figure that out. That's the reason why I don't really have all the figs in the dynamic pose, because of space. There you go, let me just step back. And I already showed you guys these 3D Posters, paintings, art, whatever you want to call it. There's the goat, Ichigo. There's Naruto. Kakashi and um, Sasuke. And Black Clover. Asta Noel. And you know. There you go. Here's a quick pan. 